Hola amigos, Greg Basco in my home office in Costa Rica and I have a confession to make. I'm a professional photographer, but I suck at keywording my photos in Lightroom. I'm not incapable of it. I can type and I'm generally a pretty well organized person, but I just don't do it, which I guess makes me lazy. But you know, keywording is a really important uh, skill for the photographer. It's a great way for us to be able to find photos quickly to build a collection for a magazine article, for a book, for a web gallery, for a presentation, whatever you do with your photos. And so if you're kind of lazy like me, I have a couple of quick tips for you today. One of those is centered on the spray paint can in Lightroom, which you may have seen, but you might not know all of the things you can do with it. One of those is keywording, or spoiler alert ever, you probably guessed that. And the other one has to do with a keyword list that's made by some friends of mine. It's great for bird photographers, and there's another one that's great for mammal photographers and even underwater photographers as well. So I hope you like this video, and if you do, give me the old thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you really wanna up your Lightroom processing game, I suggest you check out my new video series called The Complete Video Guide to Lightroom for Nature Photography. I've done that with my good friend Keith Bauer, who was a post -processing processing guru. I'm going to leave a link to that down below. Let's get to the computer and I'll show you these two quick tips to up your keywording in Lightroom. All right, so here we are in Lightroom on my laptop computer and I have a little collection here that I made related to the spray paint can or what is called the painter in Lightroom. And these are some photos I took the other day with my good friend and business partner in Photo Verde Tours, Paulo Valerio. We did some really cool sunset shots uh, with a new wide angle lens I got and a little bit of flash of some hummingbirds coming to a native thistle up in the highlands, the high, high, highlands of Costa Rica. We were at about uh, nearly 10,000 feet for this shot. And it was really fun and we got some really cool images. But, you know, keywords are one of those things uh, that I try to apply on import. Now, a lot of times I'll have a card that tends to be pretty diverse if I'm out shooting here. I might have some frogs, I might have some birds, I might have hummingbirds, I might have a reptile, and I might have a landscape. And so getting too specific with keywords at the time of import can sometimes be difficult. <laughs> it might just be that I can say Costa Rica rainforest and that's about it and then I have to go through uh, you know different images on the card to, to apply more specific keywords. For this one it was pretty easy so you can see over here on the right in my library that I've applied a number of keywords cloud forest, Greg and Paolo, hummingbirds, wide angle pollination, Paraiso de Quetzal, one of our favorite, lo favorite lodges uh, where we took these images but I might want to apply some more keywords for instance um, you know maybe for some of these shots I want to put flash photography since we were, we were using flash for this and I didn't do that so I could type in flash photography here and then I could copy and paste into each single image but a much more elegant and efficient way to do it would be to use this little spray paint can down here now if you don't see this toolbar at all in your copy of Lightroom you can simply hit the letter T on your keyboard and that makes sorry about that that makes the toolbar appear and disappear. I'm going to hit T on my keyboard again to bring it back up. Now, even once you have the toolbar, you may not see the little spray paint can in your copy of Lightroom, and there's an easy fix for that. Simply go over to this little triangle here, click it, and make sure that the painter is checked so that you can see it. Okay, now when I click on the painter, let's cancel that. When I click on the painter tool, I'm going to click, there's a little um, drop-down box here where I can apply different functions to, uh, to the paint can, to the painter. I could do ratings, I could do flags, I could do labels. And um, I'm, I'm going to want to do some keywords, but I'm going to show you now just in real time how this works. And let's say label. Let's say I want to apply a green label to all of these. Okay, not just to this one, but not this one, and then this one, and this one, but not this one, and this one. I want to apply it to all of these. So it's a really easy way. I can just hold down uh, with my trackpad or with the mouse on the left click, left click, and just drag across and swipe across all of these. And immediately I've labeled all of those as green. That's pretty cool. I could do the same thing with keywords. And so I'm going to set this to keywords. And again, let's say I wanted to make these all flash photography. 
Maybe I want to have those accessible for an ebook or an article on Flash or something like that. So that's what I have now. And now, if I again just swipe across all of these photos, you can see as I click each one, I'm going to dock my little uh, paint can again. And each one of these now has Flash Photography keyword entered there. Even the ones where the flash didn't go off, as you can see. And so I could use the spray, paint, uh, the, uh, spray paint can in a different way. So I'm going to click it again, keywords, but now I'm going to change the keyword and I'm going to put no flash. Why would I want to do that? Well, maybe again for an article or a presentation or something like that, or an ebook, uh, I might want to show here's the difference between the flash picture and the no flash picture. So now I could use the spray paint can in a different way and I could simply Instead of dragging across all of them, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to apply those key that uh, no flash keyword to the ones where the flash did fire. I only want to apply it to this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And so now all of those, I'm going to redock the uh, little painter where it goes. And now I can look at all of the ones where the flash didn't go off, and it says no flash. So. That's the Magic Spray Paint Can, really, really handy, and I've found it to really help me out in my keywording process. As someone with a bit of a biology and ecology background, I really like to include the Latin names of the species that I photograph. Even if you don't like to do that, it's still a cool thing to have, but even if you're just going to go with the common names, uh, getting a head start and getting some assist on, on doing this can be a real help in keywording, especially if you're a bird photographer, let's say, who photographs lots of different bird species. That's not really something I do very often, uh, but sometimes it happens where I accumulate a fair number of species on one card. Now, I still have to identify those and know what those birds are, but once I get those into Lightroom and I want to keyword them, there's a new keyword set out by some friends of mine with whom I have a little affiliate relationship. I will say that up front, and I'm going to leave a link down below, and if you click that link and purchase this Birds of the World keyword set through that link, I'll get a little commission and you will pay exactly the same. But I really have found this useful in my keywording, and I'm going to show you how it works. First, you can go to this page which they've set up for me with my last name right there and the Birds of the World keyword list. And you simply click Add to Cart and pay $15 US and you'll have access to over 30,000 bird species names, um, including genus and species names, you know, the Latin names, the, um, uh, which is nice. They also have a Mammals of the World keyword list and Marine Life too. But anyway, you buy it, you install it on your computer. I happen to have mine in Dropbox in Lightroom where I store my Lightroom catalog for reasons related to having it uh, accessible to me. Always my most up-to-date version of my Lightroom catalog so I have that accessible on my desktop and my laptop since I travel a fair bit for work. And I've put it in my Lightroom settings. It really doesn't matter. And I put it in keyword sets. And there it is. Birds of the World version 1.3. So once in Lightroom, how do we import those keywords? It's quite easy if we go into the metadata portion of the top menu and we go to import keywords and then we simply need to locate that on our computer, whether it's a PC or Mac, and import it. Open it and it will import all the keywords from that keyword set and you'll be ready to go. I've already done this on my computer so I'm not going to repeat the process. But now I'm ready to go. So here are a few pictures uh, from Ecuador a couple of months ago. This is a cool bird called a barred fruit eater. And so if I go into the keywords on the right and I'm going to enter the keyword, I'm just going to start to type barred and there it is, barred fruit eater plus the Latin name right off. So I can put that and its keyword. Um, this is another one of those uh, wide angle hummingbird shots I took with my friend Paolo the other day. and. I don't have the species name in there. I know this is a female volcano hummingbird, so I'm going to start to type in volcano hummingbird, and looks like there it is. Yep, that is the correct species name, so that's pretty cool. Here's another one from that wide angle session, and I'm going to type in white throated. 
mountain gem. And there it is, white-throated mountain gem. It took, so, it took a while. There were a lot of white-throated uh, birds in there. And uh, here is a shot, which I quite like, actually. We didn't have a classically good look at this uh, laughing falcon. Uh, but I really like the way I was able to frame it with some dark vegetation. So I'm going to start to type in laughing falcon, and there it is along with the binomial Latin name. Pretty cool. And finally, here's one uh, we shot on my last workshop in Ecuador of the famous sword-billed hummingbird, which is really amazing. So I'm going to type sword-billed. There's not many birds whose names evidently start with sword, because right away came up sword-billed hummingbird, and that's how the birds of the world, that's a noisy photo, but I'm going to be able to clean it up with the new DxO Pure Raw 2. I'll also have a video coming on that soon. Uh, but what a cool bird. And in this case, it's actually visiting uh, a, a passion flower that's evolved, that's co-evolved specifically over time with the sword-billed hummingbird. It also produces a delicious fruit called the banana passion fruit that you get wherever you travel in Ecuador in your fruit salad or your juices, or you can just eat it right out of hand and it's awesome. But that's the birds of the world keyword list set. And I think it'll make a really, really handy and efficient addition to your keywording in Lightroom. Lightroom is great at helping us to stay organized, but we have to put in a little bit of work ourselves as well. So I hope you enjoyed these two quick tips, and I'll see you next time right here.